Hey everyone, this video is part of a series about tips for creating game assets. In this first part, I want to talk about the origin of 3D objects. Every 3D object has an origin point, which is defining its position in the 3D world. For example, in Blender, the origin is represented by this small orange dot right in the middle of this cube. Now, if I take this cube and move it in object mode, the origin will move with it. If I tap into edit mode, and then move it, the origin is staying where it is. Now, let's take a look at an example to better understand why the origin is actually so important. Let's switch back into object mode and give the cube a rad material. Like that. Okay, this is going to be our first test object and we're just going to leave the origin right where it is. Next, I'm going to hide this first cube. So we can just dislike that one and then create a new cube shift i and in this one we want to actually have the origin at the bottom so i'm going to tap into edit mode press g and then set to move it up and i'm just going to move it up exactly for one unit because right now this way the cube is staying kind of on top of the axis and the origin is right at the bottom now this cube we're also going to give a material Let's say we make this cube, give it a nice green so we can tell them apart and maybe also rename them. And the first one was our cube rat. Okay, now we can export them and take a look at it in Unity. Here we have our two cubes and I'm just gonna pick those two and then drag them into Unity. To test the whole, I first want to create a simple plane. So I'm going to go to game object, 3D object, and then create a plane. This plane is going to be the ground. And if I take now the red cube and drag it on the ground, well, it looks a bit weird because the red cube is kind of in the middle. If I pull the green cube, the green cube is standing nicely on the ground as we would have expected it. And the only reason why the red cube is position so weird is because of the origin that is positioned at the center of the cube. That means if you have the origin at the center bottom of an object, the object will always stand perfectly on the ground. Obviously it would be a bit too easy if the origin would always be at the center bottom. So I created a little asset, a fence and a gate and a fence post to demonstrate how on different objects the origin might be positioned. Now let's take a look at first at the fence post by itself. So let's move those one away. Okay, so the fence post, I want to be standing really on the ground. So here I positioned the origin right at the bottom again, like with cubes, makes sense, I think. So that was the easy one. Now with the fence, I thought, okay, the fence is supposed to be kind of floating a bit over the ground. So the origin is actually not really at the center bottom, but a bit beneath the object. So this way the fence is floating a bit above the ground and the fence posts are kind of the one that are holding the connection to the ground. And for the fence gate, it's the same, but this time the origin is not even in the center but actually on the really far side, on the left side, where also the angle is. So why is that? Because the origin is actually also the rotation point. And for this fence, I want it to rotate around these places here. So if I take rotate and Z, it is now rotating like you would expect the gate to rotate. That means when you create a game asset and you're thinking about the origin, you should ask yourself two things. First, where do I want the object to be positioned? And second, where do I want the pivot point of that object to be? I hope that this video helps understanding the importance of the origin. If you have questions, just leave a comment. And of course, I would be really happy about thumbs up.